Hey, lovelies. I say you especially welcome to my YouTube channel. I say good morning to you. My name is Obicha Wisdom. Are you new to this channel? I say thank you so, so much for stopping by. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Are you a returning subscriber? I say thank you so, so much too for your support so far. Thank you so, so much. On today's video, I will be learning how to make a cone sleeve. That's the picture up there. It's a cone sleeve, it's a new sleeve. And it's trending now. It's something so beautiful. And it's very, very easy to make. Okay? This is very easy to make. So if this is what you would like to learn, kindly watch to the end of the tutorial. And also, at the end of this tutorial, if you find it helpful in any way, do not hesitate to share so that others can also benefit, okay? And also, do not forget to give the video a thumb up, okay? So that it can reach so many other people, okay? Thank you as you watch. So, so mates, in cutting this cone sleeve, I told you this cone sleeve is something that is very, very easy to make, okay? So the first thing to do, my first is this cone is going to be a three layer cone, okay? It's going to be a three layers cone. So the first one, I want the first layer to be four inches or four and a half inches long, okay? Then the other ones will be two, two inches longer, okay? I want the smallest one to be four and a half inches long, okay? So I'm going to fold my fabric right now. I'm going to fold my fabric using four and half okay i'll use four and half or five to fold to fold this way okay then i'll also measure four and half again and fold again this way okay fold into four i'll fold into four i hope you can see what i'm doing i hope you can see this so i'll fold into four this way i'll fold into four and then i can now put my measurements and bring my measurement this way four and a half four and a half four and a half to this other side <coughs> four and a half <coughs> Excuse me, four and a half this way too. Okay, four and a half. Then <clears throat> you connect and and then you cut it out. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so I'm going to cut out right now. Just cut it out. Cut it out, cut it out this way. Okay, then I'm going to use this very one and cut two other sizes. Okay, I want it to be two two inches longer. Okay, so the next size, the next size is going to be this is four and a half. So the next size is going to be six and a half. Done with the thing. I think I have to hold it down with a pin to secure to secure the so I'm going to cut this out right now I'm going to cut it right now and here is the second layer of this cone Okay. Here's the second layer of the cone. I'm going to put the third layer right now, and then place it this way, two inches longer again from here, from here this time around, from this second layer. Okay, so it's going to be two inches longer again. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So, 
two inches longer from this second layer okay longer two inches longer two inches longer from her just cut it out okay now i'm done cutting the three layers now <clears throat> the next thing to do is to slash into two okay i'm going to slash each of this into two i'm going to slash it into two slash into two slash this other one into two okay slash these two into two i hope you can see what i'm doing slash these two into two i hope you know we have from this now we already have for the two sleeves okay we already have enough for the two sleeves so this is for the first sleeve this is for the first sleeve and then this is for the second sleeve this is for the second sleeve okay so the next thing to do now is to cut my lining and then cut my paper gum i have the paper gum here okay so i'm going to cut paper gum for each of the layer i'm going to cut paper gum for each of the layers okay so if you have any other gum that is hard enough to hold it down okay this is something that has to be you know it has to be to be hard something that that can hold the fabric down okay it has to be something that can hold the fabric it's hard enough to hold the fabric okay so i'm going to cut it out right now <clears throat> this is for the first layer or rather the third layer <clears throat> i'm going to cut it out right now So I have also cut for the third layer. I'm also going to cut lining for the three layers. Let me keep this aside. Three cut lining for the three layers. So so mates, I'm done cutting the lining. So the nice thing to do is to place your interfacing i mean the paper gum on the um on the on the, um, the main fabric you gum it to the main fabric and then you can now turn it with lining use lining to turn it so i'm going to do that right now and come back to show us so guys i am done showing the three layers i have used lining to turn um the main fabric you can see here's the main fabric and the gum stay and the uh, paper gum right rather so i've used uh, my lining to turn i've sewn round this way so here's the three layers okay so the very nice thing to this one you just trim out all these ssss okay trim out these ssss trim the ssss Trim the excesses. Okay. So the next thing is to put it on fold this way. And then you notch the midpoint. Notch the, mid, the midpoint. And do the same thing for the three of them. Put it together this way. Notch the midpoint. 
okay nunch the midpoint you do the same for this other one notch the midpoint notch the midpoint and then the very next thing to do is to pull the three of them together this way put them together making sure that the notch area align make sure that the place you have launched align okay and then you fold it this way fold it this way and then you sew it down i'll take it to the sewing machine now and sew it down and then i'll then i'll come back to show you what i have so so mates i'm done sewing it i've sewn it down okay can you see what we have so the very next thing to do is to manage to turn it in out just try as much as possible you gently turn it inside out i'll turn it inside out okay you can gently do that gently turn it inside out Gently turn it in out. Okay. Can you see? Can you see our cone sleeve is ready? Can you see that? Okay, let me use scissors to pull out. I think I was supposed to use scissors to bring it out. So you can go ahead and design. You can tack it around. You can tuck it, you can tuck it around. You can tuck it around. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Depending on whatever applique you are using. And just tuck it down this way. So so mate. Like I promised, I told you I was going to teach you how to attach this to a dress or a blouse. So here is the finished work. Here is my comb sleeve. So to attach it to a dress or a blouse, all you have to do is to use your, your hand needle and attach it to strategic places, okay? This is not something you will use the sewing machine for. You're going to use your hand needle to attach it to strategic places. You attach it here, maybe say here, then somewhere around the, around the, um, the back side okay so it's just for you to attach it to a strategic place depending on where you want it to be so you can place your your um your blouse or your dress on a mannequin like this and then you try to attach it you, att you attach the sleeve with the use of hand needle just attach it to a strate to strategic places okay just tuck it down to hold it in place okay? so just use your hand needle to tack it down tack it down tack it down okay use your hand needle to tack it down and then And then you can also look for somewhere around this side and also tuck it. Just use your hand needle to do that. Your hand needle will do that for you. Then you could locate a place at the back too, at the back side, and also try to secure it with your hand needle. So with this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Please share this tutorial. And if you have learned anything so far, do not also hesitate to give this video a thumb up. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.